A month after Rob Portman announced he's done being a U.S. senator, we already have a good idea of how the Republican primary is shaping up to pick its candidate for the race to replace him. First News anchor Stan Boney recently talked with the people who say they're running. Stan is live in the studio with what they had to say. Ohio's 2022 primary is still 14 months away, but at this point, the Republican primary looks to be a two-person race between Jane Timken and Josh Mandel, both familiar names within the Ohio Republican Party. Now, both are also familiar with the Mahoning Valley, Mandel from Cleveland, and he stopped here often during his eight years as state treasurer. Timken, too, has spent some time here. She lives in Canton and as chairperson of Ohio's Republican Party, stopped here as the area's Republican base built strength. As you know, I've spent a lot of time in Trumbull and Mahoning counties, uh, great people, uh, but they're drifting away from the Democrats, and they know that the Democrats have abandoned them, their policies, you see what's coming out of the Biden administration and the Democrats, their policies are job killing. And listen, when I think of uh, families and moms and dads and senior citizens and workers, in the Youngstown area and throughout the Mahoney Valley. I just think of like red-blooded, true blue, patriotic Americans. People who think the police are the good guys, people who know it's the right thing to stand for the national anthem. Mandel was critical of Ohio Governor Mike DeWine saying the governor got the whole shutdown thing wrong. Mandel said it wasn't right that big businesses were allowed to stay open and small ones had to close. Tim Consent, Governor DeWine, has done a pretty good job managing the pandemic. She didn't agree with the curfews, but is happy that they have been lifted. Should Timken win, she would be Ohio's first ever female U.S. Senator. And to that, she says, it's about time. We also talked about COVID relief on the federal level with what they had to say on that. I'll have it during First News tonight at 10 and 11. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.